ladybirds. I'm not sure what they are. They're uh, something I've not seen before. He's got a ladybird on his tail, is he? <laughs> oh, so he has. Keep still, keep still. Callum, got a ladybird on your tail. Can you see it? Is it there? Pop up. Ah. Ladybird on your tail, Callum. I'm by my favourite oak tree, Dieu. The Dieu energy, and what I'm going to do now is just probably put up a picture just to uh, separate today's footage from yesterday's, and I will be showing you part two of yesterday's footage. really pleased about this. Back last year I did four cuttings of roses. Two varieties of each. Two were the old established yellow rose which you will have become accustomed to see in many of my ASMR videos. And two cuttings were of the Prince George variety. You probably are aware that's my favourite rose. Well, only one rose cutting survived into the new year, and here it is. I planted it out some time ago. And I was convinced it was the old established yellow rose. And a couple of days ago, I started to see a reddish tint. And it looks as though it is a Prince George rose. Well, I am delighted. Beautiful, very thankful, very grateful. Hello Callum, watering the garden. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually got four varieties of Dianthus, beautiful abundance array of the coconut sundae Dianthus and the raspberry sundae Dianthus and the romance Dianthus, that's really rather sweet isn't it, something very special, lovely rich lush pinks, tones of pink and then we've got our old established light pink dianthus four varieties of dianthus I love dianthus and as part of my going down small down to the ground I discovered what these are they're actually called Hearties, hearties, aren't they pretty? 
I shall read out a little story about these later. Shrink yourself down now and feel at ease in the moment. So just relax, breathe in, breathe out, and let everything go, all your emotions you don't need to hold on to. Got the lettuce really growing ever so well. We've got coriander there, and these are all from seeds which I sowed. That will make a succulent salad, I dare say. More coriander there. Mm -hmm. Might just put these out for, for a little bit of watering. These out into the rain. Now one of you was asking how many varieties of rose do I have in the garden here? Well, there's three. There's this white rose, which is very much a trailing, climbing rose. It's a uh, the June flowering season came very early for this one. There's a lovely example there, still looking rather splendid. Mm, beautiful. And then of course over here we have the um, Olympic Spirits. So that's our second variety. And then my favourite, the Prince George Rose, which I very, very harshly pruned at the beginning of the year, back in February. And isn't it doing well? Really pleased with this. Really pleased. I really hope you're relaxing. Just be in the moment. Hello, Callum. Hello. There's the yew tree. Y-E-W. Ah, the Hypericum is out in flower. Mm. Gorgeous yellow, shining brightly. Yes. Glistening. Glistening with the raindrops. Let go of all your stress, melt into the light now. Let all that stress go. Completely relax. Just completely relax. I say I've got a quite a list of videos to make. It's just often I find with my own filmmaking that it's 
sometimes I just start recording, start filming because I see an opportunity. Um, and as you know, a lot of my videos are outdoors. I think the real splendor is outdoors and that's why I like to capture it. The ever-changing seasons, the cycle, the wheel of the year. However, I do know there's, uh, there's been quite a few requests and thank you for your comments. I will try to make some, if not indeed all, of your requests of uh, the videos you've been asking for. I know one of you wanted close-up tapping. Probably do that with a book. Might do a little bit of that in a moment. And I know some of you want some more model railway videos, the uh, a loco a lineup of my locos. I'll be doing that as well. But as I say, sometimes it's just great to film, see what we see, see where the camera takes us, see what wants to present itself, the flowers, the nature, the weather. <laughs> A lovely choice here, yeah, lovely bright yellow choice here, yeah, Sundance variety this is called. Choice here, yeah, Sundance. Have a little dance. Express yourself. This expression is a very important aspect of our beings. To feel freedom, to express freedom, to no longer feel restricted or held or stuck. Beautiful rosemary there. I always think of that lovely little story, the little show I used to watch called The Herbs with the characters. My name is Lady Rosemary. Yeah, if you're from England, UK, you'll probably remember that. <laughs> Got the um, oregano at the back there. Got the rock roses down here. more just here. That's where the iris was growing, that's that's had its season, it's flowering this year. Got the gnomes down here. <laughs> Sounds like magpies up in the apple tree. With that sort of rattle, rattle, rattle squawking sound that they do. Oh, there's, there's many things we can look at that uh, allow ourselves to feel grounded and safe and secure and just be in that moment. Identifying that at any moment we can get out of that shift, that pattern of stress. And just accept that we are connected to a much wider, greater beauty. Connected to the grid below us of all those beautiful earth energies and connected to the energy above that wants to help us, that wants to help heal and release and clear any of those stuck emotions. allow us to feel happy and enjoy life, just to feel completely at ease with life. So I'll probably head indoors now, I'll read a little bit of that book that I mentioned to you about the uh, hearties, the little small purple, friendly little purple flower. Before I do that, I'll just show you good old faithful apple tree quirt. As I sign the Celtic Oem for quirt. One, two, three, four, five. 
joyful, mothering, nurturing energy. Yeah, it's beautiful. Some months ago I did some dowsing with the rods and uh, I asked how old the tree was and went through the years and uh, the rods crossed when we got to 1895 so a little sapling of 1895 that was planted out at some point probably at the end of the Victorian era so we have a 125 year old tree and I'm very grateful thank you Okay, so I've got something to read to you, a uh, beautiful little words. You've just seen the picture of the heart's ease. I've got a book here, The Heart's Ease Fairy. Listen to these beautiful words. The song of the heart's ease fairy, like the richest velvet. I've heard the fairies tell. Grow the handsome pansies within the garden wall. When you praise their beauty, remember me as well. Think of little heart's ease, the brother of them all. Come away and seek me when the year is young, through the open ploughlands beyond the garden wall. Many names are pretty, and many songs are sung. Mine, because I'm heart's ease, are prettiest of all. I'll just show you this now. So that's an extract from A Flower's Fairy's Treasury by Cicely Mary Barker. Beautiful, beautiful book. And I didn't know until the other day when I got this book that I recognise this little flower because this has been appearing in some recent videos when I talk about shrinking down and this was meant to be, I was meant to see this so there's the artwork there, the heart sees fairy there's the words the song of the heart sees fairy like the richest velvet I've heard the fairies tell Grow the handsome pansies within the garden wall. When you praise their beauty, remember me as well. Think of little heart's ease, the brother of them all. Come away and seek me when the year is young, through the open ploughlands beyond the garden wall. Many names are pretty and many songs are sung. Mine, because I'm heart's ease, are prettiest of all. It says here, an old lady says that when she was a little girl, the children's name for the heart sees or wild pansy was, jump up and kiss me. Ah. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to get this book, I really recommend it. Lovely, beautiful book. Very calming, very gentle energies. It's really lovely, beautiful artwork. It's actually an original book from 1923 there. Look. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll just do a very little bit of... Very little bit of tapping.
I hope you enjoyed all that. I hope you've been relaxing. Just allowing yourself to let go into the moment. With complete awareness. I shall look forward to talking with you soon. It's starting to rain here again. <laughs> if you're new here, consider subscribing. It means a lot to see the channel grow and if you'd like to leave a comment, leave a message, it's always always lovely to hear from you. So I look forward to talking with you soon. Keep well and as ever with loving kindness. Goodbye. Bye.